the new mutants. Are they ever gonna be new, or is it just gonna be the, the same continuous team over and over and over again? Cause I'll be honest with you, with the title that's called New Mutants, you're really not living up to your expectation, Marvel. So what's up guys, I'm Josh, aka Lazy Universe, and today we're gonna be talking about the New Mutants, and why hasn't Marvel turned them into exactly New Mutants? In 1998, it was a thing that they created the New Mutants, sort of to be a spawn-off series from the original X-Men, starring a group of new X-Men that later on began, began to be, get very popular, and yes, I have to add this in there, otherwise people get mad, yes, it was the first introduction of Deadpool back in issue 100 or issue 98 of New Mutants. This is the first appearance of Deadpool. But the New Mutants was basically a breeding ground for what was to become more X-Men. You had New Mutant Generation X, the Exiles. We had X-Factor. There was a bunch of different X-Men out there, X-Force. But, sadly, I have to agree with Professor Thorgy on this one. For a title that's called New Mutants, it's the same team. Now, if you look at a series like New X-Men, it was New X-Men. It was New Mutants. They were new. Uh, they were new to the team. They had different missions. They had different powers. And then if you look at another team like Young Mutants, or Young X-Men, I'm sorry, that's even another team, New X-Men, starting off on new adventures. But the New Mutants is not new. They were old mutants, so the team, so the the real name of that title should be Old Mutants, because that's what they are. It's not a new team. It's new adventures, but it's not a new team. It's Cannonball, Sunspot, <clears throat> Magic, Wolfsbane, and the others. No, I don't remember what the other girl's name was, so I'm sorry. But sincerely, you guys really need to make a new mutant team. You can keep the name New Mutants, because I'll tell you this, right now, Marvel, that New Mutants doesn't have to be the same team. The title alone makes it possible. New and a mutant. Anybody can really use that name, New Mutants, and create a brand new X-Men team. It doesn't have to be just one. You can have two. You know, you, you can't really expand on your Marvel Universe. You can't just keep going, we're gonna start a book called New Mutants. Okay, who's on it? The New Mutants. So that sounds really boring. I don't think anybody, I say what goes! And that's that. But really, there is a lot to play on with New Mutants. You can create a new team. You can create new heroes. You can create new spin-off names for them. So, you know, it, it was something that I used to do when I was a kid. I used to create my own different mutants. I used to give them names, a backstory, everything that, it, that was needed. And, you know what? It was pretty freaking cool. Because this is a mutant. It's a human that can have any superpower in the world. What is stopping you from doing this? You can't run out of ideas that quickly. I mean... You could have a kid who almost had the same exact power as Superman. Done. I didn't say all of them. I said some of them. Maybe he can run really fast, he can fly, and he has super strength. Done. And then, you know, you could, you guys probably would call him Marvel Boy. But if you know something, at least it's an idea, you know. You could have a kid similar to Cyclops and Havoc who can shoot out energy beams. We, there, there's an idea here, Marvel, you know, there, there's an idea behind the New Mutant besides, let's just go with the New Mutants. I mean, you don't have to repeat the same idea twice here. This was from 1998. Yeah, you can revamp it. I'm not saying that you can't, you know, revamp it and make new stories for the same team. I'm not saying that. But you could have new mutants. 
it doesn't have to be the same old team just repeated or revamped, you know? You can have them be called New Mutants, but the thing is, with the other New Mutants, they're already part of, like, the X-Factor, or X-Force, or, you know, like, the Exiles, whatever. You can keep them on those teams, but when it comes to New Mutants, have New Mutants! It's not that difficult. You could have someone, like, per se, Iceman, but don't call him Iceman. Have him have, you know, the same powers, but call him something like Snowspot. Or, uh, what's another good one? Or Deep Freeze. You know, something that would, you know, have it going. I'm giving you ideas here. Have them be teenagers. Have them have teenage problems. Have them, you know, question themselves all the time. Am I different or am I the same as everybody else? This is what would work, you know? There is a reason why The Runaways is your most popular book. Because it was a brand new idea. And teenagers could read The Runaways and be like, Yeah, I understand this. This speaks out to me. And I can understand it, because it involved teenage trauma, teenage trouble, teenage love interest. Everything that a teenager can go through is in this book. Minus the superpowers and everything else. But you know what? If it works, go with it. And with the new mutants, if like I said, create a new team. Just have drawing paper, draw several different people of all shapes and sizes and be like, okay, who's gonna be what and what can they do? You know, I just gave you an idea. How about calling a mutant deep breathe? Have him have his super, this super cool one, uh, power, similar to Iceman. You know, you could create... <clears throat> um, <clears throat> you could create a mutant that can control electricity. Call him or her surge box. There is a lot of different ideas that you can shoot right out from frickin' the New Mutant. You could call a guy frickin' Co- I'm not saying that you have to call him this, and I know that Spider-Man, you know, already had one. But you could call one a chameleon and have him shapeshift into other people. So, you know, and he can also, similar to Rogue, technically speaking, he can copycat powers. So, you know, when he copycats, what you say, like Wolverine, he has Wolverine's healing factor. And he can also have the, he can also have the adamantium claws. So, see, there is an idea there. You don't always have to go with the same idea, Marvel. I'm just saying. This was something that I always did when I was a kid. I would always be fascinated in the X-Men. I still am to this day, you know. And I would go to, like, the X-Men and be like, okay... You know, even I would create my own different mutants and be like, there you go, new team. And I did this so many times. I could have my own mutant universe by now. Out of all the ideas I created, I could legitimately, by right now, if I still had those books, possibly have my own universe right now. And uh, I'm not kidding, I created so many different mutants that had so many different powers that it was unbelievable. I created a mutant who basically had the same powers as both Beast Boy and Nightcrawler combined, and I call him Shift. Because he can shift from place to place, but also he could shape shift, so I thought the name would make sense. You know? So, again, we don't always have to repeat the path. You know, the path is the path. Let's look towards the future. Let's make a brand new team. They can have the same powers. They can have the same, you know, outfit from the New Mutant. The classic yellow-black thing. I'm not saying that they can't. But it would be really, really great if you created a brand new universe out of this Marvel. Have the New Mutant. But have the new mutants be more than meets the eye. That is what you guys were famous for back in the day. When you guys were popping out comics.
that was more than meets the eye, which you're still doing nowadays as far as I'm concerned. But you really need to have different stuff. What you did with X-Men Red, Blue, and I think Gold, they had like different X-Men books with different colors names. Okay, that was fantastic, that was superb, and you did an excellent job, I heard. I know I haven't read any of those books for myself, uh, and I'm very sorry about that. But I, I saw what you did with X-Men vs. Avengers, which I heard a lot of people say that was great. I read the Astonishing X-Men. You guys did a fantastic job in Astonishing X-Men. The X-Men are not a failed thing. You can create the new mutants. Hell, you know what would make me happy if you did it? Although you probably won't. If Miss Marvel was the leader of the new mutants. Kamala Khan. Make her the leader of the new mutants. I think that would make so many people happy if you made Kamala Khan, even though she's part of several other teams, like the Secret Warriors and, um, I can't think of it right now, but the Challengers, I think, um, have her be a part of the new mutants, have her be the leader. Cause we saw Kitty Pride in X-Men Red. I'm pretty certain. Or whatever, <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, I'm sorry. And she was the leader of the X-Men. And I thought, oh my god, we're giving Kitty Pride a teenager, a young teen, a, a young adult, grow into becoming the leader of the X-Men. And she was also a teacher and basically Professor X at this point. Oh my god! And you know what? You can do it again! You can make both Miss Marvel and Kitty Pride leader of the X of the New Mutants. And you know something? You can have other cameos from the other X-Men. Don't have them basically be involved, but have them have cameos, you know, like Cyclops, or Jean Grey, Wolverine, Storm. Have them all have little guest appearances. That would be great, just like you did in 1998. We can do that again, just with a different team. That's all I'm saying. A different team would make all the more different. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have your own pick, if you had to pick, what the new mutant team would look like and if you want to get creative you can either make a video in response to this one you can uh tag me on twitter with the link in the description below and you can make your own team tell me what different powers that they have that'd be pretty awesome or you could do it right in the comment section right in the comments down below that would be cool too so be sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to see any more x-men videos i've done i made one on why don't we have an uncanny x-men movie yet and by far, that's the only X-Men related thing I've done. Uh, whatever the other video is, whatever that I pick. You know, I'm still... I still have some X-Men ideas. So, and despite I haven't talked about Halloween stuff in a while, uh, join me back here later and I will be having a... a new Halloween video. Well, let me tell you guys, next, next year for Halloween, for October, I'm going to have a lot more ideas, and it's going to be horror shit all the year round. And I know I usually post a movie review on Mondays, but today I'm not going to do that. So maybe like Friday or whatever, or Wednesday, I will revamp a brand new movie review, and it will be a horror movie. One of the sequels of movie that I already reviewed should have already been on here, but that's okay. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Join me at Twitter with the link in the description below. And I'll see you next time.